Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and the week ahead, brought to you exclusively by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Um, did you manage to get some flying in in between the showers this week? There were some windows there, weren't there, as we predicted. Um, although I do know that some areas were absolutely horrendous as well. Um, it's going to be pretty similar actually going through this weekend and into next week, where if you can get outside the showers, actually, it's not too bad at all. But the areas that suffer from showers, we're probably going to have um, not or some not pleasant days but those areas vary so I think for most of us there should be some flying to be found. Saturday is the one really that stands out for me as looking like being a pretty yucky sort of day. Um, now we'll get on to the detail in just a second. A quick reminder for you though that on Saturday the 16th of September I'm holding my next Aviation Weather School. This is the first one back after the summer break. It's going to run from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. It's for all pilots, so whether you're pre-PPL, whether you're commercial, um, you're going to learn a lot from this course, all presented by me uh, from Weather School HQ here in Wombord. Um, it'd be great to see you there. I'll build your weather confidence. I'll basically take you beyond the PPL to get you understanding weather properly. You know, Rather than being a tick box exercise, I'll show you what you really need to know to get your flying more and to understand the weather so that as well you can do it confidently and that you're not scared when you're up there um, and I'll show you how to spot weather windows five days in advance to book your place go to weatherschool.co.uk you'll see this page just go to aviation come down to aviation weather school classroom and um, that'll tell you everything that we cover on the course and you can book your place now it'll be absolutely super to see you there okay this is how things shape up then for um, Thursday, we've got a northwesterly flow on Thursday. Um, now, this is going to be bringing some showers with it. Most of the showers across northern and western areas, but I do expect there to be some heavy ones around as well. Could be some thunder too. My suspicion is that most of the showers are probably across western and northwestern facing coasts and hills. Quite a brisk northwesterly, particularly western Scotland and northern Ireland, where you could see gusts of sort of 25 to 30 knots elsewhere. Probably gusts up to about 20 knots, not too bad an afternoon. As we head in towards Friday, still got some showers around, particularly across more eastern areas on Friday. Um, some of those could actually turn out to be quite heavy and thundery across eastern England, the eastern Midlands, east Anglia, south east England. So I'm going to say VFRable here, better in the morning, then becoming non VFRable at times or marginal in the afternoon. Some QNIMs developing and bases of around 3,000 feet, tops of 25,000 feet. Further west and across northern Scotland, the ridge of high pressure builds in. And what will happen is we'll see some showers trying to get going in the morning, but they'll quickly fade away as that ridge of high pressure builds in. And bases of around 4,000 feet, tops about 8,000 feet. Later on, some cloud increasing across western parts of uh, Ireland. That brings some rain, all associated with the area of low pressure you see out towards the west and that is then going to be moving eastwards during the course of the day uh, during the course of the night into saturday and low pressure then remains over the top of us during saturday now a bit of uncertainty over exactly where that low is it could be a little bit further north it could be a little bit further south but either way that low will be passing its way eastwards bringing cloud wind and some hefty bursts of rain at the moment i think it's mainly going to be england and wales that suffer with it i think scotland particularly northern and western scotland see a few showers eastern scotland again there's isolated showers here and there and a few showers in ireland too but overall i think these areas may well be flyable it is just a big fat cross though across many parts of england and wales However, by the time we're getting in towards Sunday, things should have improved, uh, at least for many of us. Most of the rain goes. We still get cloud. We still get some showers. Generally, though, it is flyable across England and Wales, becoming marginal in any showers. Bases of around 3,000 feet, tops about 15,000 feet. The risk of some more persistent showers across western parts of Scotland. Perhaps here we go marginal bases, 2,000 feet, tops of 12,000 feet. Few hefty showers across western parts of uh, Ireland with some QNIMs coming in here but Eastern Ireland probably fares better. Eastern Scotland, Eastern England improving during the day so Sunday definitely the better day if not perfect of the weekend. Now into Monday still got an area of cloud and showers and some rain affecting particularly northern 
and Western Scotland. Here, none to marginal VFR. I think some showers for Northern England, making for marginal conditions here in the showers, but flyable outside. 3,000 foot bases, 15,000 foot tops. A few showers across western coast and hills, but generally it looks as if it should be a fair day. Bases 4,000 feet, tops about 10,000 feet, but down to 2,000 feet in showers with 15,000 foot tops. Just need to watch this low out towards the west in case it's a little bit further north, perhaps in here somewhere, and then it just tracks its way eastwards as we get through Monday afternoon and evening, perhaps affecting Southern Ireland and then later southwestern parts of England and western parts of Wales. So something just to be aware of there in the forecast. And that's why I'm going to be quite vague about what happens afterwards, because Tuesday, I think we probably get some showers and some rain across southern parts of England. Here, I think marginal to perhaps VFR, two to 4,000 foot bases, 10,000 to 12,000 foot tops. Some rain may well scoot through southern areas. Need to watch that. Generally for Ireland and uh, Scotland, it should be fair. And then for Wednesday, hints of higher pressure, <coughs> excuse me, wanting to build in on Wednesday. Now, a lot of uncertainty over this. Does look as if though, many areas will become flyable, but need to watch this area of rain to the west. Models are uncertain about this. It could be a lot further east than is suggested, perhaps affecting Ireland and Western Scotland. It's a long way away though, but with the high pressure building in, things do look better for a time during the middle to the end of next week. I will keep you updated throughout on that. Those of you who have already been to weather school will know where to go though to look at how uh, that develops for the middle to the end of next week. Perhaps signs of things getting a little bit better. And it would be super to see you at Aviation Weather School as well, Saturday the 16th of September. Come and join your fellow pilots as we talk weather all day and get you understanding it properly. Go to weatherschool.co.uk and you can book your place now. It'd be super to see you there. Okay, I'll leave you with that for now, whatever you're doing. Thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.